Hi, Kirk Kilmey here from LearningGolf.tv with another short golf tip. Today's tip involves how the legs and hips work in the setup for impact golf swing. If you're not familiar, the setup for impact golf swing is a swing I developed over the past 20 years, which is the easiest swing that you could ever learn, simply because it's easy to repeat and we set up on our impact plane. That means we're not setting up with the hands low, which forces you to push up with the legs and get the hips moving upward to make space through impact. We're already set up on the plane. The club will be on at impact. You'll see more information in other videos here on YouTube. But today I wanted to talk simply about the hip and leg motion in the setup for impact golf swing. And you could use this for any golf swing. And so basically once I'm in my setup position, which does have the hips a little bit more towards the target than most swings, all that I'm going to do is turn the trailing hip in. So the trailing leg is straightened. This aids in hip turn, which is really important for a lot of golfers who have lost some mobility in the hips. Basically anybody over 40 years old, they'll basically turn in. You can see my lead leg has bent in towards the ball and the trail leg is straightened. And what's gonna happen as I'm coming down, the opposite is going to occur. You're gonna see this leading leg shift with the knee bending towards the target and then straightening. And this straightening is helping also the hips to turn towards the target, which is very important for generating club head speed. So you're gonna see from here to here. And that's the simple motion that is going to make it easy for you to learn to turn the hips and basically keep them in close to the same space they were at setup. So basically turn in the trail hip, turn in the lead hip. In the setup for impact pack swing, we're also trying to keep uh, the hips, if you watch my belt line, we're trying to keep it at the same level and we're trying to keep the head with the goal being that the head stays at the same height as well. What this does is guarantees that there's no compression of the spine which will protect your back. We're simply rotating around the spine and that's what this leg action will do for you. For more information and my free email learning series, visit learninggolf.tv. The link is below in the description and please click the subscribe button and like this video. Thank you and have a great day.